Wagwan, good afternoon, and what would the mandem say? Good. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel! <clears throat> Serious face. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening everyone. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, we're gonna stop. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening everyone. I don't really want to do it this way because I feel like... <sighs> I find it difficult, okay? I'm gonna be super honest with you. I wanted to just to come on here and just have a little bit of a chin wag with you guys. But whenever I sit in this room for some reason, it's like my brain goes professional mode. I am trying to encourage, because sometimes sitting in this room when I'm filming, I do get really bad anxiety. I'm trying to encourage a more natural and raw state of filming. Like the way that I'm talking to you now, I feel like I'm actually having a conversation with you and I'm not just chucking out information. So I thought I would give this way a go. And my main objective is to like, whenever I think of something, just talk about it there and then. Whether I've got my phone, whether I'm sitting in front of the mirror trying to do my makeup and my hair, just talk about it there and then. Because sometimes I feel like when you overthink things and when you plan to speak about something, especially me, I start to get anxiety and I will be saying everything but the things that I need to say because I've overthought it so much and right now I was literally thinking about purse piece and I thought you know what I'm just gonna do it get the camera out and just start talking to you guys so we're gonna talk about purse piece while I do my lovely luscious locks of hair and we're gonna see how it goes I don't know if I will put this video up but if I do put it up hopefully you enjoy the more raw Tiana. <laughs> so, purse piece. For those of you that don't know what purse piece is, this is my definition of what purse piece actually is. Um, and it's where you are content with your collection and the collection you have. So, you're fine. You don't need any more bags. You've got all the bags you've wanted and that's that. You know, you, you don't need to buy any more bags. I just want to see how long my hair actually is. So that's my definition of purse piece. Now, have I actually hit it? That's a very good question. Um, personally, I feel like there's a part of me that has most definitely like 110% I have hit purse piece, but then there's like another part of me <laughs> that's like well no actually I haven't because I still need to get these colored bags now at the moment you guys know I've got all my neutrals but my like my green and my blue those are my most colorful handbags in my collection and if somebody said to me you could not buy another handbag for the rest of your life you have to stay with the collection you have at this present moment in time I wouldn't be upset I'd be, I'd be fine I'd be like Cool. So there's that part of me that's like, yes, I have hit purse piece, but then, like I said, you know, there's there's still other colors that I would like. And the reason why I feel like when I got my collection, like my last handbag, my Kelly, the one in Cray, I was like, okay, this is it, me done. I don't, I don't need any more handbags. But I'm starting to notice my style changing and that's where the problem lies. Because my, my bags are neutral, there's only so much that I can like you know, put with those neutral colored bags. And I'm starting to look at more colorful things. So I've just ordered, and I'll show you guys in a little while, I just ordered and I just got it today, this super bright orange jacket. And I'm like, for me, spending 200 pounds on something that was bright, not so long ago, I'd be like, hell to the no. I am not spending over 200 pounds on a jacket that's in a bright color because neutrals, classic, you'll be wearing it for years and years and years, you know, it doesn't matter. Bright colors, eh, you might be in season now and, oh, look how long my hair is. Mm, wow. So I would never have spent more than, I don't know, 50, 100 pounds max on something that is not in a neutral color. I bought the green coat very recently from the Frankie shop and then like I said the orange one which I'm gonna show you in a little bit and I'm just like something's going on neutrals will always kind of be my comfort zone but I'm also starting to explore and I'm starting to to think ooh, color I want to add more color and that's where my bags come into place because before you guys know it was all about building my my neutral base and getting all the neutrals in and out like in and out the way now I've got that I'm like I don't need but I would like to have um, different colored bags as opposed to just my neutrals have I hit purse piece yes but then 
I'm gonna say there's like two levels to purse piece. There's hidden in and being content. And then there's ultimate purse piece where you, you know you've got every single bag to fit at any given moment. And I feel like having one of each color is maybe where I'll hit like ultimate purse piece. So yeah, it's a it's a it's an interesting one because I never in a million years <laughs> dreamt of having the collection that I do now. I don't think I dreamt big enough. Um, I mean, how many how many bags? I remember when I started doing YouTube. Um, this is probably where like watching other people kind of played a huge part in wanting so many bags. But I used to be like, yeah, one day I'm gonna have thirty handbags, and when I get 30 handbags, I'll be happy. But actually, I don't think there's anything worse than buying something that you don't actually use. And I think that's why I like my collection and I'll never get or want a huge collection of handbags anymore <laughs> because I actually like to use my stuff. There's no point in buying things that you're not gonna use. I'm just not a hoarder. I don't like to hoard things and I don't like to buy things for the sake of buying things, but that's just me because I know there's a lot of people that do love buying things and then don't actually end up using them. And also another thing, I like I wanna expand my collection in terms of other handbags because I do love my Kellys and Birkins, obviously, you guys know that, <laughs> but I feel like because I've got the perfect base, like for me, as long as I've got these bags in the neutral colours, because I know I will use them forever and ever, I can start to look at other things. And like the Gypsy Air, I'm still in love with that bag, okay? I still want it, I'm still in love with it. I would love that bag in a neutral colour, probably because that I would like to use as an everyday bag. But I've never bought it because of the price of it. They are really expensive. They're like 6,000. Last time I checked it was 6,000 and something. I feel like 6,100 and something from memory. And that was like a while ago. So it's probably gone up now. Right, so we've done the hair. And now we are going to put some lippy on because my life is incomplete without some lippy. Although this one, oh, there you go. I didn't think it would work. Let me go and get the, um the bright orange jacket that I bought. Oh, it's so fabulous. With my green, with my green, with my green Birkin. Oh yeah. Hold on. Ow. Here we go. Ah. Oh. What do you guys think? Do I look cool? I'm matching with my bag. I look all cool and fabulous in my orange jackulous. <laughs> that sounded wrong in my orange jacket, all right? I'm not good at rhyming. I'd wear something different underneath. I wouldn't wear this green top. I ordered this in a size small and medium. Oh, 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 and look, the sides actually unzip. And you can adjust the sides to whatever you like, because, oh, do they go all the way to the top? No. Oh, no, they don't. They stop just before they hit the sleeve. And then, You've also got a pocket at the back! What do you guys think? It's very, very orange. I actually really like it. Probably because it reminds me of an Hermes box. The sleeves are also adjustable, which, again, I like, I like, I like. Oh, let's see. Oh, I've just had my tattoo laser and she changed the filter onto a different filter and look what it's done. It was so painful afterwards. It felt like all this was raw. It was horrible. Horrible, 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 but yes, as I was saying, <laughs> the sleeves are adjustable. I need to show you this other jacket that I got at the market. It's so amazing. Da -da -da -da. Look how cool this jacket is. Oh yeah, because we want more than just a denim jacket, right? We need something that makes it stand out from all the rest. And oh my goodness, look at it. It is beautiful. I'm in love with this denim jacket. Stunning, right? I mean, look, look, look. Pow! Pow, pow, pow! Looks so good. I'm in love. But yeah, I thought I would show you this. So this is like a really old jacket. It's, it's vintage. Um, and then they've repurposed it. I think that's what it's called. And they've basically embroidered this onto the back of the jacket. I love it, it's so, so cool. And then the sleeves, I was actually thinking of getting like maybe, <laughs> I love my shoulder pads, it's evident because I was thinking of getting shoulder pads put into here because it has that kind of, do you see right here, the way the 
the sleeves sit. It's quite boxy, so if you just put a shoulder pad like that, it actually wouldn't look bad at all. But then, yeah, you do have, I don't know, I just love the fit of this jacket. It's so, so pretty. And then I wanted to show you these pants, right? Which, oh my goodness, these were handmade by a shop which I found in Dalston. And, no, was it Dalston? It might have been, where was it? Somewhere around like Hackney, Dalston area. And I walked into the shop randomly because the window display like really intrigued me. And there was this lady working at the back in all her little rails of like mix and matched clothes sewed up together, different parts of curtains and bits and fabrics sewn up to make beautiful dresses or beautiful skirts. Like it was, it was honestly amazing. Look at the pockets. You've got this beautiful royal blue, which, oh my gosh, my blue Chanel classic flat people. Um, the button I chose, so she she um, had a selection of buttons because this didn't actually have a button on it when I tried it on. And then she quickly hemmed the bottoms for me because they were a little bit too long for me. So yeah, and she doubled it up so she didn't take off the extra, extra fabric, she actually kept it around so that it kept the weight and kept the shape of the bottom. So really, really, I'm gonna put these on so you guys can see the fit of them, but they're amazing. Look at that. Like, hold on, let me take off this jacket and show you guys properly. Look at that. The fit of these trousers are just so perfect. The legs are nice and wide and I'm just going to show you. But this is the bottom and what it looks like at the bottom. And they're just a stunning wide leg pair of trousers. I need to find out the name of the shop because it's honestly a gem of a place and you just find the most amazing one of a kind. Like I know no one will be wearing these pants because she's made them, she's found these materials and she's put it together, she's stitched it all up, I've chosen the button. I love things that not everyone is wearing so yeah I'm definitely going to be going back more often when I visit one of my friends over there because she lives near the shop that we passed by. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would share that with you guys. So yeah, you guys can kind of see like I'm definitely starting to to change my direction in terms of fashion and what I'm looking at. I'm starting to be more adventurous and I'm not just looking at, you know, neutrals. <laughs> I want some colour in there and I'm doing it slowly. I'm not just, okay, tomorrow we're gonna go shopping and I'm just gonna buy everything in colour. No, 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 no. <laughs> I couldn't do that. Slowly but surely, I'm slowly starting to change and that is the reason why I do not think <laughs> I have yet hit purse piece. Although I have really, haven't I? Because if you ask me, like, if I didn't need to buy a bag, then I wouldn't. But yeah, <laughs> the video went from purse piece to, to, to my fashion, to, to back to purse piece, to whether I think it's changed or what, I don't know. Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a beautiful week. I shall catch you in Saturday's video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care, bye.